was on duty with my colleague. Uh, we were dispatched to a job at the public toilets in Rochester High Street for a potential double cardiac arrest, which was obviously very serious in its nature. On the day in question, uh, back in April, there was an incident. Darren was carrying out his duties at Northgate Public Toilets at Rochester. On them entering the premises, he saw two males that was unconscious, believed to be overdosed. Uh, couldn't find a pulse, called the emergency services. Fortunately, the two patients in question were not in cardiac arrest, but having regained consciousness, were very aggressive, very volatile, um, and posed a great safety risk to myself and my colleague. Darren being Darren, um, the way that he is, um, he does wear his heart on his sleeve, bless him. He got in between the two males and the two female paramedics um, to try to control the situation to protect them, while well, one of the female paramedics called the police for assistance. He assisted to step in um, to verbally de-escalate uh, the situation where there was a great threat of violence towards us as a crew and himself, uh, and um, ensure a good outcome, uh, demonstrating great care and compassion, um, which is a great assistance all round. Police arrived on the scene and detained both the males. I take my hat off to him, it takes courage. It definitely does take some, I would say the old fashioned guts to do what he'd done. Not many people would do it. A lot of people these days would turn the blind eye, walk away from the situation. But Darren went above and beyond his duty um, and his role uh, to ensure a positive outcome and also aid the crew in maintaining our safety and um, is a great credit to the uh, company for which he works and it's um, excellent that his um, efforts are being recognised. The first I knew about the incident was being emailed by Anna Pryor who works at Union House for Torbay NHS Trust to make us aware that there had been an incident at the site the previous night. From what I can understand, um, a member of the public gained access to the roof of the building where the NHS Trust are, um, was perched on a ledge and was threatening to throw himself off the building. I was leaving to go home and when I approached the car park, which is at the top of the building, um, I noticed there was three ladies at the corner. One of the friends explained that the young female had taken overdose, there was concerns around her mental health. So at this point, because we don't have any security and I was the only person left in the building, um, I, I went back into the building and fortunately Sarah um, was in the building. Sarah was really supportive. Um, she was really trying to encourage the young female to come off the ledge. She, she went into like a mummy mode, um, trying to protect her, trying to encourage her, um, trying to um, understand why she felt that way, why she, why she felt that so low and anxious. She's not had any health and social care training. She was able to adapt to a crisis situation which could have been devastating. She was um, reflecting on maybe her own life experiences. However, the young female um, was listening. She needed five minutes just to compose her thoughts. But at this point, we both recognized that the medication was taking effect. So Sarah advised, you know, it's you know, five minutes is up. Five minutes is up, and you need to, you need to come down. And the young female come come down off the ledge. Sarah give provider with lots of cuddles, lots of support. Um, we took we took her into the building um, until the emergency services arrived. I feel that she's a real star, and she actually saved that young woman's life that evening. If Sarah hadn't have been there, we don't know what would have happened. None of us do. But she put herself in that vulnerable position. She was willing to do that. I think it's commendable. 
we don't want to think about what could possibly have happened if she hadn't been there. It is amazing. I first knew about the um, incident when Lisa Hutchinson uh, contacted me, that's Jane's direct line manager, um, to inform me of what had happened. And my first thoughts were for the safety of Jane, um, because obviously there was quite a lot of blood about. Jane's a cleaner for Barnsley North. She works in the sheltered housing, um, high-rise flats in Barnsley, cleaning corridors, the communal areas, entrances. Jane's known very well with the residents in Britannia Flats. Um, she will see most residents on a daily basis as they're going for the shopping or and even relatives as they're coming to visit. Mrs Remington came running out of her, her flat, screaming for help, and Jane was there, and immediately went into the flat and found Mr Remington on the floor, unconscious, losing an awful lot of blood. He'd cut a main artery in his head, so blood was literally pumping from him. Uh, Jane put hand over the, the burst vessel to try and stop the bleeding, um, and call for the emergency services. Jane was absolutely drenched in blood, her socks, in her shoes, everything. Um, Mr Remington was taken to hospital. Um, Mrs Remington went with him as well in the ambulance. Whilst they were gone, Jane cleaned all the flat for Mrs Remington so that she didn't have the ordeal of cleaning that when she got home, um, which is remarkable. I received a letter from a neighbour of Mrs Remington's explaining what Jane had done and it just made me feel totally blown away and amazed by Jane's kindness and just incredibly proud.